Be prepared for highly offensive language from the start and throughout. Adult and sexual themes, nudity and possible flashing images. It's time to blow away the January blues. Big Brother wishes you a very happy new year. Hello, today's. I am actually really, really excited. Come on. <laughs> I really hope that we can get in and have a good time. I'm here to have fun. <laughs> I'm just very silly and fun, and I like to laugh, and I really like to make other people laugh. <laughs> I'd say I'm a bit of a joker. What could go wrong? Things are about to go pop. Hold tight, you nutbags. Big Brother 2017! And this is Emma Willis! launch of Celebrity Big Brother 2017! We're still here and I feel like a superhero! Look at it! Does it look amazing? Thank you! Come on! Uh, forget the January blues, we are here to brighten things up a little bit. And Big Brother is in a very good mood. Yes. So, will our Happy New Year be filled with Happy New Housemates? Or will this comic book house come crashing down around us? Yay! Either's highly possible. Uh, now, we are bringing back some Big Brother All-Stars. Oh, yes, they are the ones that we know and love. Now, those All-Stars are going to meet some new stars. Yay! Yeah. And we all know what happens when stars collide. Yay! Things go pop. OK, so, later on tonight, our All-Stars will be given a special task that might... Oh, yeah! ..that might see their future best friends turning into future frenemies, because this wouldn't be launch night without a special surprise popping up. But first thing is first. Would you like to take a look around my new gaff? Yeah. You always bang on about a house tour on launch night. So let's go and do one, shall we? So this year, the pop art theme is absolutely everywhere. The house is full of colour. Um, now, it's got to put a smile on even the grumpiest of housemates, you would imagine. It's very bright. There's explosions everywhere. It's on the plates. Mm. Uh, it's on the walls, as you can see. It's on the cushions in the living area. Boom. Uh, it's even on the floor. One massive explosion. But how many explosions will we see over the coming weeks? Now, if you like animals, you might love the house this series as well, because, look, we have a poodle. I know it resembles broccoli. Uh, and over here, we have two little sheep looking at each other through the glass with loving eyes like they want to kiss each other. Um, from kissing sheep to kissing cartoons, into the bedroom is where we might see kissing housemates. Who knows? Uh, so this is the bedroom. Again, explosions of colour, slightly more subtle than the rest of the house. It resembles, in my opinion, like a Manhattan boudoir. So plenty of room for our uh, beauty queens to get ready and possibly a preening prince. Uh, right, let's go into the garden. More colour, absolutely no room for gloom. On one side, there's a crazy neon city skyline. On the other, the seedy back alleys with a Gotham feel. And more pop art in the bathrooms and so much colour, we've even got colourful loo roll. And, of course, no house tour would be complete without seeing the diary room. And at the entrance is a headless mannequin with a mouse. 
obviously, because what else would it be holding? Uh, but how many people will lose their heads? Hopefully none. Hopefully it's going to be a fun, positive house. Mm. Here's the diary room. <sighs> so it's comic book theme. Hello, Emma. How are you, big brother? How are you? I'm really good, thanks. Firstly, I love what you've done with the place. Secondly, are you ready to crack the whip on 14 new housemates? Emma, big brother, is always ready. Well, I've heard a sneaky little whisper that some of our old friends might take control this evening. Emma, all will be revealed later. You don't give anything away, do you? No. OK, well, we're in a comic book and my spidey sense is telling me that trouble's on the way. It's housemate number one. It tends to be us versus the world a lot. Especially housemates. Spidey's back. And we're better, better than, than ever. You probably know us best from a TV show that was called The Hills and also our time on CBB. We almost won 2%, that's all. Maybe 1% we lost, that's it. A loss is a loss. It was a, it was a typo. Spencer and I were there to play a game. To win a game, sorry. To win honey. a game, excuse me. We had watched them talk so much crap about us for days that we were a little emotional. And we got into a little bit of a row with Ryland. I am a normal person, nope. mate. I live in the real world out there. Yeah. This is the real world, this is real. <laughs> Don't ever say he's not real. He's very real. I wasn't satisfied how we left the last time. I think it's time to go in there and really leave our mark this time. And if you do feel the need to boo as we enter, just know that I still love you. And you know, I haven't had any boos in like three years, so kinda. Or not, whatever. Yeah, or cheers. Cheers are nice yeah. too. When people say to me on the streets, oh, what do you do? I wanna say, oh, I won Celebrity Big Brother All-Stars. What do you do? You thought we played the game well last time. But you have not seen anything yet. It's Heidi and Spencer! When I heard your names were coming back in his house, I was like, yes. Bye! Um, listen, last time you were here, I think it's pretty fair to say you didn't make a lot of friends, did you? Well, that's not what we were here for. So what are you here for this time? I mean, to win! <laughs> you, you were absolutely fantastic villains last time. Pat I like to call you panto villains because I don't think you really mean. You just played it brilliantly. But I still at the end didn't know if you were playing it or whether that was really you. So will it be the same this time or will it be slightly different for you? I think that we didn't get the full experience last time. I think we want to be a little bit more part of the house, but I think we have a different game plan and we're not really going to tell quite what it is yet. OK, and we've got to mention that Rylan beat you last time. <laughs> I haven't seen the numbers. I, I don't know. <laughs> it was an accident. But he's not here to get in your way this time. We love Rylan. We do. Uh, guys, are you ready? We're ready. Get Spidey out! Get Spidey in! Spencer want to have a baby yeah. this year. They see it, their That's biggest right. achievement <laughs> is getting <laughs> married. <laughs> the couple see their idol is Jesus and their biggest fear is heights. Hello, home. Oh, this looks way better. Is there alcohol? Damn. <laughs> Where's the kitchen? Where's the liquor? 
Storeroom. I see an elevator. Oh, the hatch always is the good stuff. <laughs> oh, hatch is locked. Ah, oh, player lockdown. haters. No champagne. No bubbly. Hmm. Oh my god. This is a big table. Oh wow. Oh, we got a little French press, a little, little coffee, a little caffeine. Oh my gosh, I miss the booze. Oh my god. Is this a waffle maker? A little grill? Look <laughs> how happy they are to be back in you. Happy to have them back. Ooh, mixed reviews. Uh, now, you know what those celebrities are like? They love to make a song and dance out of things. Or do they? Sounds like number two. My name's James Jordan, and I'm best known for being a professional dancer on Strictly Come Dancing. Until I got the sack. And of course, the Brad Pitt of the dance world. I was on Strictly for eight years, and I love tweeting about the show. I don't expect everybody to agree with me, although 99.9% .9 of the time, I am right. If you don't like reading my tweets, don't follow me. I am actually really, really, really excited to go back in the Big Brother house. Make it difficult for us. Take our food away. I love it when people argue. I find it funny. I love all the tasks, and I would put myself up for anything. If I have to dance in the house, I'm going to fucking do myself. Listen, I didn't sign up for a dancing show. I signed up to wind people up. That's a wrap. You want me to sell so you can fuck off. It's James Jordan. Nervous. You are not. I am. I don't believe I you. I am, honestly. I'm Mr. Nervous. Cockshaw is I know. nervous. Of course, I do have a heart as well, you know. Does he? Somewhere in there. Does he? Um, are you right? Genuinely, that Ge surprises me because, you know, you are, you like to mix things up. We've seen you in there before. Yes. Brilliant housemate. Thank you. Uh, as you know, I think that. Um, and you're on bot, you're very opinionated. I am very opinionated. So um, why nervous now? It's unknown. It's, you know, Big Brother plays some nasty little games on you. So we might go in there for the first couple of days, all get on, but it's not going to last for very long, is it? I think we're about fun, this series. I think so. I just want to have a laugh, genuinely. Yeah, you just want to have a laugh and wind people up. Yeah. <laughs> Life's too short. Life's too short. So will it be much of what we've seen before? I'm, I'm not going to be any different. I was who I am. Uh, my mates are there. They know I'm a wind-up merchant. Um, I, I'm not any different in the house to what I am in real life, and that's the honest truth. Do you know what I love what you said? Make it difficult for us. Yeah. Take our things away. That's what we want, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's what the show's about. That's, Shouldn't be easy. That's what I signed up for. Let's make it hard. Amazing. Yeah, James, thank you so much. Brilliant. Off you go. <laughs> After his first year in the Big Brother house, Jim's admitted that the bit of truth doesn't always need to be said, but sometimes I seem to see it. James previously lived in Hong Kong and once lived in a caravan for four years. Oh, dear. Please be someone in here. There's no one in here. <laughs> oh, Hello. Oh, it's our sister's How best you? friend. How are you? Hey, man. Yeah, How your you? sister oh, she was... loves you. Did I yeah, she's you? Brilliant. It's a pleasure oh, to yeah, have you. Yeah, she's like, you're so lucky if James is in there. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. 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 There's yeah, no yeah, champagne. Like, there's no. We already wine. tried to drink it all there's before nothing. we got in. There was nothing. You're excited. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. nervous, though. Spy, you're up to it already, playing little pranks, jumping out. But we have a ballroom dancer, so. 
Anyone fancy a waltz? Yeah. To the return of Celebrity Housemate number three. Yeah. Hello, Teddy. Hello, my name is Jasmine Waltz. You might know me for being a Hollywood actress, a model. You might know me for being a big slut. Did you forget me? I'm back, bitches. Yeah, the last time I was in the house, I was involved in this ridiculous love triangle with Casey Bachelor and Lee Ryan, and it just like ruined my entire existence in that house. This time, you get to watch me make the same mistakes over again, I'm sure. I think if there are hot guys in the house, yeah, that's a challenge. That, you just do that on purpose because you know that I'm weak. The only type of people that I don't get along with are just like super, super, super negative people that just complain and bitch and blah, blah, blah. It's like, shut the fuck up. You signed up to be here and don't smell bad. And hygiene, the stink. I'm not really a shy person. Tits are tits. I mean, how many times have you had a roommate and they haven't seen you naked? Your roommates, let's see your bush. Whip it out. I think I'm back because I'm a wild card and no game is fun with that one. It's Jasmine Waltz! excited to be back. This it's great so to have her back, isn't I'm it? I'm so excited, yes. It's amazing. Now, listen, last time you were here, you didn't make much of an impression. Oh, I know. I was really dull. <laughs> uh, no, you weren't. I'm Jasmine, by the you way. You were nice anything right? but dull. Um, last time you were here, we, we had quite possibly one of the best Big Brother moments in history. Obviously, when there was the back. triangle of love that went on. Oh, um, that triangle. Well, yeah. Uh, will there be any shapes happening this series, do you think? I don't know. It's all women to this time, right? It's all girls? No? Yeah. Yeah. No. Maybe a circle? <laughs> OK. Um, can I ask, has your taste changed immense since you were last here? Nope, I still like idiots. <laughs> oh! Um, and let's talk negative people, because we've yeah. just heard you say how much they I know, I heard that. That shit's hilarious. Oh, God. <laughs> Good job cutting that one. I like it. Um, you look foxy. Negative people. Um, yeah, it's just annoying. I'm not very negative. I'm kind of. Are we going to see the same Jasmine that we know and love and have seen before? I hope so. I, I do too. So. Are you ready I to go in? So. Yes, I'm Are so excited. <laughs> Last time Jasmine was in the house, she yeah, performed a raunchy really striptease while pole dancing for Lionel Blair. Jasmine's a king theater has done the majority of the artwork in her home by herself. Yeah. Jasmine recently wrote a Whoa. comedy book and enjoys playing golf. <laughs> the most expensive item Jasmine has packed is her £50,000 diamond bracelet. I see you. Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I'm the kitty cat. Yeah. You can't crawl on the ground. I'm yeah. the kitty. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. Hi. I told you she's Hello. How are you? I was like, is there a blonde crawling on the floor? Hi, James. Hi, Jasmine. Nice to meet you. Holy shit, I this is so you. rad. Here, you got Look me. at your no, outfits. No, These are no. sick. Yeah. Illuminati. Oh, oh, this is hilarious. Oh. Do you know what Same I did? Theme. So you know when I said, well, how do you want people to see you and you had to draw that photo? Isn't it funny how they're acting as excited as people that have never been in there before, yet they're going in and again. That's how great this show is. Yeah. I've got to say they're a bunch of wallflowers, though, aren't they? <laughs> hey, they don't really put themselves out there. Uh, so our first three all-stars are settling back into the house. And as they've been here before, Big Brother has a little surprise in store. We will see you after the break. <laughs> Be prepared for offensive language throughout. Welcome back to the live launch of 
Celebrity Big Brother 2017. Oh, yeah, it feels good to be back. Before the break, we welcomed our all-star housemates, Heidi and Spencer, James Jordan and Jasmine Waltz, back into the loving arms of Big Brother. But hang on. Where have they all gone? Where are they? They're not there. In the break, Big Brother, he pulled a fast one and he's moved the All-Stars into the task building next door. And they're about to find out why. The middle is all right. That's us. We're like the OGs. We're grandfathered in This here. is Big Brother. All-Stars, welcome to the Celebrity Big Brother production office. Thank you. From this moment, you are the producers. Yes. <laughs> Over the next few days, you and your fellow All-Star housemates will use your previous Big Brother experience to influence storylines, yeah. make decisions, and create tasks oh, yeah. that will provide the viewing public oh, yes. with the most entertaining yeah. episodes possible. Okay. Oh, this, Shortly, Big Brother will allow you to watch each new Star housemate's entrance into the Big Brother house. Oh, brilliant. Once the last housemate has entered, and based only on what Big Brother has shown you, you must edit one of them out. This means that they will be treated differently to their fellow housemates and will be excluded from all key moments within the house. They will be effectively edited out of your show. As producers, you should choose the housemate you feel will provide the least drama and entertainment. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Aye, aye, Captain. Are we the More producers will be joining oh, you shortly. Oh, oh. Oh. Producers, get ready. Your first new star is about to enter. We should right. probably drink more. Do we take notes? I'm not drawing pictures, so. <laughs> Can we take notes? Woohoo! A celebrity's worst nightmare hitting the cutting room floor. So, who's going to impress our producers and who is going to get edited out? Now, I do hope they approve of our first newbie housemate, because if he was good enough for Kim Kardashian, then he is good enough for us. It's celebrity housemate number four. What's up, world? It's Ray J. Now, listen, you might know me for a lot of things. Music, reality TV. Oh, and you might also know me for my dick. <laughs> I've been in the industry since I was 13 years old. I started out doing television shows. My sister, on the other hand, her name is Brandy, but she's the big music star. I followed suit. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you also might know my cousin Snoop Dogg. Yeah, Snoop is our cousin, but I'm a grown man, but I'm a grown boss. So put them both together, and you got a grown man boss. People want to know about the sex tape with me and Kim Kardashian. Order it. Put some money in my pocket. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Boom. Y'all still jacking off to the sex tape? Psh, enjoy. I'm ecstatic about going into this Big Brother house. It's for me to step up to the plate and hit the home run. And anybody in my way when I'm at bat, duck. UK, baby. Then put me in the big house. They done put me in the big house. It's Ray J. Okay, okay. There we go. We dancing. Man, the sparkles is just so hot. I gotta take off my glasses. You shining. Really? You shining. Am I knocking your socks you're off? You shining. Right you shining. You shining. I love how British you're looking. No, I need a passport. <laughs> I need a passport. <laughs> Believe that. Uh, now listen, we've just seen your VT. I've got to say, it, it made a lot of people laugh. You know, I came out here to have a good time. You know, meet some new friends. You know, keep everything light. You know, it's 2017. I'm coming with all positivity. This crowd, they don't cheer for many people. In fact, they normally love a good boo. 
Oh. And you haven't had any, so that's good. All right. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, not a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming. I'm coming in right now, just a fish out of water. You well, know. Guess what? I think you're gonna have a great time. I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm looking forward to it. I've seen the show, so I know what it. I know what it's about. But I didn't want to do too many notes. I just wanted to come in and see what was what. Okay. Well, go in and see what's what. All right. I'm going into the house. Up the stairs. Take the right. Rear gear started. In a film once with Pierce Brosnan. Ridges worked with music producers including Timberland, Farrell Williams, and R. Kelly. If we last long enough, Ridge could end up celebrating his birthday in the house. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Real colour. It's just me? Do I... Producers, what's the on-screen potential of Ray J? Yeah, yeah he's, he's, really he's, like him. he's, 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 he's funny. He's, 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 he's cool, definitely. He's not getting edited out. No. Uh-uh. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, he's your finest. I just hope it's not all of that. I feel like he no, could entertain us by himself. I hope he's like that like, the whole time. We've met him yeah, before. Yeah. He is like yeah. him. Yeah, he he's is, cool. I like him. Oh, yeah, the first time I met him, he's dead. I don't think that was an act. I think that was 100% Ray J. Now, he thinks that he's the first one in, so it's time for another. Now, we all know what trouble footballers' wives can be. But can the same be said for footballers' daughters? It's housemate number five. Hi, I'm Bianca Gascoigne, and you will know me as the model and the daughter of the legendary Paul Gascoigne. Growing up with the tabloid attention on my family hasn't been great. Like, my mum's always said to me, what we know is the truth. I'm definitely not a wallflower. I won't fade into the background. I'm strong, I'm opinionated, I'm feisty. So, don't get in my way. You know, I think anyone that says that they come into these programmes and go, no, I don't really care if I win, I think that's absolute bollocks. I know that I'm going to be the kind of housemate that's going to be the last one up. I'm definitely a go hard, go home kind of girl. If there is someone in there that I find attractive, I will be open to see what happens. I have kissed on camera, and I probably will get. <laughs> I'm extremely messy. Wherever I go, there's a whirlwind. It leaves a trail of disaster. The type of task I'm going to be good at, penalty shootout, I've got it in the bag. I'm ready to go in there and take Big Brother by the balls. Bring it on. It's Bianca Gascoigne. I do love mermaids and I do inspire to be one. Oh my god, you actually look <laughs> like one. Thank um, you. How are you and how are you feeling about what you're about to embark on? All day I've had waves of excitement, nervousness, um, but I'm actually really excited now. I just can't wait to get in there. Really? Yeah. What, what do you expect it to be like? You've obviously watched yeah. it over the years. I would imagine yeah. that you know people that have been in there from time to time as well. Yeah. So, so what are you expecting from the experience? Um, I'm expecting it to be a little bit cray cray, shall we say? <laughs> what? Um, this show? Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to having some fun in there, literally. I yeah. just want to get in there and just enjoy myself. I think we all need a bit of fun, don't yeah. we, at the beginning of 2017? Yeah. Uh, you mentioned that you are you're a little bit of a tomboy, yes. it seems. So yeah. what are you going to be like when it comes to things like tasks and competition oh, in the house? I'm going to get right involved in all the tasks. Any, like, endurance, anything like that, I'm, oh, I'm going to go for but it. you want to win? I want to win, yeah. Get in there, then, and see if <laughs> you can do it. it. 
Fianda once had to go to hospital because she accidentally glued her eyes shut. Fianda's friend bought her a jellyfish toy to take in for good luck as she couldn't find any killer whale toys. Fianda will miss her phone the most whilst in the big brother house. Hello. What up, what up? <laughs> Hello. Hi, how you doing? Are you the only one here? Uh, that's, uh, unless somebody hiding under the couch. And I know who you are. What's up, how you doing? <laughs> one of your songs is my favorite. Oh, yeah? One Wish. Now you got hell. it. <laughs> one Wish. What's up, how you doing? How you doing? I'm Bianca. What's up, Lovely to meet you. How, how you doing? doing? Sorry about the apple. Let I me... like the England shirt. Well, you know, I'm here, I'm, spirit. Yeah, I'm here for the shirt. I'm here for the shirt. for the shirt. Producers, what sort of housemate do you think Bianca will be? She needs a couple of drinks. She's a little nervous right now. I think she has sassy, a sexy, and cute. She has yeah, potential. She has a lot of potential. Yeah. She's definitely not getting edited out. No. Yeah, yeah no, no. Especially not in that dress. dress. No, no. That's... And I think fun. I think, she adds some... I think her and I would be friends. Yeah, she's nice. She looks... She's not yeah. scared. I reckon she's someone not to mess with as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that thing on... About the people they're seeing, which is nice. We want niceness. Uh, yeah. Uh, so far, three classic celebrity housemates have become the producers and are watching our new stars settle in. After the break, another all star will join the producers, and between you and me, they are not the biggest fans of Spidey. It's going to be quite awkward. We'll see in a bit. Launch of Celebrity Big Brother 2017. It's a warm and fuzzy. Already tonight, we have two new housemates in our fancy new gaff. We have one boy and we have one girl. Oh, yeah. But what they don't know is that in the production office next door, our all stars are working together as the producers. <laughs> They're watching over our new stars and deciding who's got star quality and who needs to be edited out of the show. So, shall we give them another to help them out? Well, this one loves a good bromance. It's Celebrity Housemaid number six. Hey, it's me, Austin Armacosh. You might remember me from 2015 Celebrity Weather Runner Up and just an all around fabulous bitch. Last time I was in the house, I had a bromance with James, which was fantastic. He was my rock, he was my brother. I loved it. Are like, you fucking naked? We ended up getting an Attitude Magazine Award, and I took the award. Is it going on his mantelpiece? No. So I've just broken up with my husband of nine years. I do want some eye candy in the house, of course. I mean, a fat girl loves to go to a restaurant and look at deep fried chicken wings. I'm feeling really great at the moment and my body looks fabulous and my bum is amazing. Nightmare housemate, Heidi and Spencer, done. She's full of plastic. He's a fucking idiot, and I just would not like to be in a house, not only for 30 days, I wouldn't even like to be with him in the house for 30 minutes. You can expect enthusiasm, eccentricity, honesty, truthfulness, and above all, bitch, don't cross me. It's Austin Armacost. Just a little. I like to a double staircase. So. How does it feel to be back? I'm thrilled. I can't wait to get in there and get into the hot tub. How do you know there is a hot tub? 
I've seen the photos. Maybe we've stripped photos. it all away. Yay. Um, now, listen, not. we've just heard you talking about how, like, you can be a bitch, <laughs> but we yeah. know that you can be pretty emotional as well. <laughs> we saw the I'm tears last time. I'm quite time. emotional. I'm quite emotional now, yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> This is an emotional house, and I'm, I'm a real human being with real feelings, and you, you'll see every side of me this time round. Which was what was great about you last time, is that we did see, or we, I felt like we, felt, we saw every side of you, which was every fantastic, time. which is why we want you back as well. Um, you've done it before, so do you feel like you kind of have an advantage? Well, I always go in just looking to have a good... Always go in like I've done it a dozen times. Last time I went in, I just wanted to be myself, be true, who I am. I was happy when I came out. The British public was happy when I came out. I came out to cheer, so hopefully I do it again. Well, you've got cheers now. Listen, I'm going to send you in, but before we do, you know how much we love a twist of here at Big Brother. Oh, there's one, Listen, there's one going on right now. So we have a bunch of all-star housemates, you included, mm. and we are making you the producers of Big Brother. Boom! Oh. I love that. So in a That's minute, we're going to send you into the house and yeah. we are going to send you to the production office. You are going to meet the other producers <laughs> and your task is to pick out the housemates with potential to the housemates that need editing out of the show. Are you ready for it? I am ready for that. Let's do it. Up the stairs, turn left, in you go. Austin was once a member of the USA Junior Olympic team. He once had dinner with the Thai royal family. He says his biggest fear is not having someone to love. Oh, is this the producer? You are yeah, producer. It's a pleasure. Pleasure nice to see you. We poured you some champagne. Oh, thank you very there much. You We're very Cheers. sweet around here. Nice to nice meet you, fella. Uh, we have name tags on. Hi. Yeah. Hold on, we got oh. names on. Even when you tell them up the stairs and turn left, the doors don't open. They still don't know where they're going. Uh, okay. At this point, I like to go through my checklist. So, here we go. Ready? Hunks. Tick. <laughs> Sexy sirens. Yeah. Tick. Nightmare husband and wife, double tick. Mm. And what's this next one? A loose woman, of course. Hi, I'm Colleen Nolan, and you may remember me as a former pop star with the Nolan sisters, but now I am a very loose woman. And a right clever dick if ever there was one. There has been times on Loose Women where my opinions have been taken massively out of context by the press, and that can be really, really, really frustrating. No, I am quite bitter. Last time I was in the house, my nemesis was Miss Julie Goodyear. Oh, if I Jesus. could give you one piece of advice, it would be shut the fuck up. Maybe if I'd have stood up to her, people would have respected me more and maybe I'd have won the show. But Julian Clary was a well-deserved winner anyway. He wasn't actually, he was a boring old fart in the house. This time around, if my gut instinct tells me somebody's fake or they're pissing me off, I'm definitely gonna tell them. I hate people that refuse tasks or do that whole, I'm a celebrity, I don't do this kind of thing. You're in there, do it. And now I am scared to death and I'm absolutely dreading it. I think it might be a house from hell. what that face is feeling. Because... Oh, thank you. You're saying that now. I am... 
I thought I was really excited. It'd be great to do it again. And then I've just nearly thrown up behind the doors, going, what am I doing? Don't turn up. You've been here before. I know. You kind of know what to expect. Yeah, yeah. Um, we just saw you saying your VT that you wish you'd spoken up more last yes. time. So will we be seeing that more this time? Will the, will the kind of loose woman, more controversial Colleen be coming out? Yeah, I mean, the thing last time... All right, I'll do it. The thing last time was she never said anything to my face, so I couldn't confront her, but I would have had she have done that. And this time, I will trust my intuition and I will smack that pie in someone's face. OK, well, listen, there'll be no th uh, pie throwing tonight, but we have got a little task for you. Yeah, no, no, not, not just you. We have a bunch of all-stars. <laughs> And at the minute, they are in Big Brother's production office because our all-stars are now the producers of Celebrity Big Brother. Oh! And guess what you get to do? Oh! You get to pick out who you think is going to be the entertaining housemates <gasps> and who you think need to be edited out of the show. <gasps> oh, I feel so powerful. Do you feel excited? I'm excited. Do you feel all funny? Yes. Then head up the stairs and take a left and go into the production Yay! office. Pauline's biggest fear is falling down the Big Brother stairs. One of Pauline's middle fingers is mostly made of metal as the horse riding accident. She sees a trait that will annoy her most about her fellow housemates. It's selfishness. Let's have another Brit here as well. Oh, they look like they're having a lovely time together. Now, Big Brother may take over the lives of the housemates, but we will never take their freedom! I think I should maybe leave the acting to a professional. Here is housemate number eight. My name's James Cosmo. I'm an actor. I've been in the business for over 50 years. I've appeared in films like uh, Train Spotting, Game of Thrones, and Braveheart. Mind your tongue. The same Irish. <laughs> That's my friend, Irishman. I had to age for that part. That's why I get recognised now, because I have aged now. I look like the character I've played. I wouldn't say I'm scared about going into the house. Sometimes you just, you know, you've got to go over the brow of the hill and there's a black run, and you think, well, shall I do this, shall I not? Well, here goes, and down you go, and hope you stay upright. That's a skiing term. I can't ski. One of the things I'll miss is listening to Eminem. I was just listening to him on the way up here. I, I just love Eminem. He's early stuff. Fantastic. All I would say is, I'm in here for an experience. I hope I'm going to enjoy it. And that's it. Game, set, match. Nothing else. Thank you very much. Bye. It's James Cosmo! It's, it's really exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Really well. I am so looking forward to having you. Thank I've watched you. you growing up in so many different things. So it, it's a bit of like a dream come true. Oh, bless you. Thank Seriously. you so much. Thank you. Um, so 
you're, you're an actor yeah. on the big screen. Yeah. What are you going to be like on our screen, being the, like the real you? How do you feel about that? that? That's the interesting thing. It's the real me. It's, I'm not playing a part. I'm just being me. And I'm looking forward to this amazing experience. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you very uh, listen, much. Head up the stairs, take a right, okay. and have a great time. Thank you. Thank Emma. you. Thank you. James used to play cricket with Sean Henry. James says he hates bad table manners. His biggest achievement is raising his family. Thank you so much. I've got a glass of champagne I'm James. for you. James, I'm Bianca. Pleasure Hello, to Bianca. meet you. Hello, Bianca. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Hello, Ray You're... J. Nice Ray J. Yep. Good nice to, to meet you, James. I don't know if you like champagne. Oh, thank or you I can so much. You no, that's lovely. Yes. Thank you very much How indeed. Nice to meet you. I'm okay. Right. I'm okay. Yeah. It's a bit. Of a... a bit... Whew. Yeah. Isn't yeah. it up and down? It's like waves of excitement, nervousness, yeah. Yeah. and then yeah. Yeah. And then you look good. Stuck for yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what you said to them? No, no, they've yeah. thought about a husband. Um, right. I had this. Oh, I you, yeah, yeah. Will you. James C. bring enough entertainment value to the house? Yes. Yes. No. Yeah, I like him. I like him. I don't him. know if he's going to be the most entertaining, but I think he seems like but a really nice guy. I think we nice need him. Oh, we yeah, need him. We can't be mean to him. I people. I will be honest. I'll be honest. Yeah, so... But we don't know the rest of the house. I'm going to be honest. I think he's in. You were like one of my favourites. I think he's great. Like, the fact that he's like, I don't, I don't know yet. And I give him a seven. Yeah, I, you won't, I, I gave him a ten because I really like, like him. But to try and but we get can, to know um, who you are, we can, start, from start from nothing. Start from nothing. Exactly. I think that's one. what everyone's doing. Yeah. Like, we don't so, have to decide um, until we yeah. have all of them. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Cheers. Look at that, Austin and James clearing the air, getting all friendly. Let's start afresh. Ooh, a little bromance. Possibly all a bromance. Can I have them there? Who knows? <laughs> uh, so, we have our old stars spying on our new stars and our new stars wondering why the hell the house is so roomy. Uh, it's not going to be for long. More shiny new celebrities are going to be joining them right after the break. Tonight's Celebrity Big Brother is sponsored by Pink Casino. Welcome back to the live launch of Celebrity Big Brother 2017. I like doing that up here with shiny things on. Uh, so far, eight housemates have strutted down our catwalk. Five were given a secret task to become the producers. Their job is to watch from the production office and decide which of our new stars will shine and which will be edited out of the show tonight. Now, the new stars have no idea they're being watched and neither is this next one. It's Celebrity Housemate number nine. Hi, I'm Stacey Francis. I'm a singer, songwriter, and you probably best know me as being a finalist on the X Factor USA. Let me tell you something, Stacey. I've done this a long, long time. That was one of the best auditions I have ever heard in my life. It allowed me to stand and hold my position as a diva. Something else I became famous for was having a fight with Whitney Houston two days before she died. Obviously, not ideal. Like, I could cry right now, but I, I'm not gonna upset my makeup artist over here. <laughs> I feel like people need to get to know me. I'm loving, I'm funny. Yeah, I got a little bitch in there, but I'm never a bitch just because. Like, I'm always, it's a justifiable bitch moment, okay? Get on my damn nerves, get out my face. <laughs> I am looking for love. I would love a gorgeous British husband. If he's wealthy, that would be awesome. If I like nice shoes. Yeah, there's a diva in there, but also there's a good heart. And I love you, and I want you to love me back. Come on! 
it's Stacey Francis. Thank Welcome you so to much. the UK. Yes, thank um, you. How much do you know about our little show that's going on? Well, I've been watching because I love it and I'm excited to be in the house and I love London. I love it so much here and I'm hoping that you guys get to know me and we have some fun. Yeah. So do you know what to expect in there? <sighs> no, I don't know what to expect. It's to expect the unexpected, right? I guess. Yeah. Yes. That's exactly what the show is yes. about. You never know. You never know what you're going to get. Um, <laughs> we heard you talking there about yes. um, a justifiable bitch moment. Yeah. What exactly does that mean? I like to um, defend, like, people who are being bullied or is this some unfairness. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So I just think if it's someone being, like, really mean or... Oh, okay. Stop in the name of love. Okay, I'm not mad at <laughs> um, Listen, I hope you enjoy it. Yes. Thank you so much for taking part. Give me some love, girl. She runs five miles every day. Stacey's biggest fear is drowning. Her idol is Oprah Winfrey. Champagne. Oh, Hosted you do? The Moses, yeah, of course. Oh, your shoes are fierce. Oh, Sounds American. Oh, 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 Hello. I'm James. Let me see this. Bianca, I love yes. your name. Thank you. Hi, it's how are you? Hi, James. James. I'm Stacey. Good to Very meet nice you, to Stacey. Meet you. Hello, you're great. We'll have okay. a cuddle. Oh, you look gorgeous. <sighs> Super glam. <laughs> Do you know, do you know, would you know each other? Looks so like it. Producers, what yeah. sort of housemate do you think Stacey will be? Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm finding it annoying. Sure. <laughs> I think there's a lot of attitude, but I don't know if I, I it's good know. or bad. I don't know. She's just oh, wait, did she just talk up. shit to her? Oh, no, no. I thought she just said something. I'm going to say seven. That's what I gave her. I gave a solid five. I gave her right, you know five. I'm going to go six. I did originally do six. Yeah. What did you give Bianca? Eight. Okay. Eight point I gave two. I gave her a seven point six, and then I upped it. I didn't have to give you anything yet because I don't. I'm not. I didn't like wear rage. 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 I'm going on your word. Yeah, how was Ray, Ray J when he came in? Amazing. Unbelievable. Um, unbelievable. He was brilliant. Honestly, he, I, I gave him a nine because he wore a British flag. He murdered. He murdered. Yeah. He tried to apologize. Oh, they're deliberating. What are they going to do? What do they think? Oh my goodness. Do you fancy another one? Yeah. So far, we've had housemates from the UK and from the States. And this next one is a big fan of the Brits. It's celebrity housemate number 10. Hi, I'm Brandon Block, superstar DJ. Let's have it. Oi, oi. Some of you will remember my little escapade on the uh, Brit Awards, which sort of made me a household name, I think. Have it on good authority that the next three years of the Brit Awards was uh, banned from alcohol. Sorry about that. I was fortunate enough to be part of the uh, biggest musical revolution that ever happened, really. I suppose it's changed the face of music forever and uh, became, for want of a word, a superstar DJ. Uh, to be honest, I was more interested in being off my nut. I'll tight you nutbags. I can't tell you how fantastic that experience was. Oh. oh. You would get off a plane and just get into party mode. Just staying up for days, really. Just fucking brilliant. 
I won an award at Music Magazine Awards three times, I think it was, for Caner of the Year. Oi, oi! It does have a, a negative impact on one's health. At times. Sorry, I don't know, I've, I've lost the, 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 the thing I was talking about then. <laughs> I'd like to think of myself as a bit of an all-rounder. Jack of all trades, master of none. I'm very excited about getting into the house and let's have it. <laughs> it's Brandon Block! Yeah, How are you? I'm all right, you? Yeah, really good, thank you. Now, we've just been watching VT. Yes. Um, and for the people that, that, that may have not have known you back in the day, yeah. I did. Uh, <laughs> you were a bit of a party animal, weren't you? I was, yes. So, what are you like now? Have you bought the party to the house or have you bought your pipe and slippers? I'm a little uh, little tiger now, a little baby <laughs> cub. Not uh, so much anymore. A little pussycat? Yes. What are you looking forward to the most? Getting in there. Really? Yeah. It's just, Why? Well, I just, uh, just uh, get nerve, bit waiting around and all that stuff. But yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah. Just go and meet some new yeah. people, have a laugh, and spend uh, a month away from mobile phones. <laughs> it's, it's a good thing. Um, you seemed quite, you seemed quite like relaxed and ready for it in your VT. Oh, I wasn't. Don't worry about. It. Oh, there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Do you feel that way now? A little bit like that. A little bit like that. A little, a little bit, bit nervous. Like a little bit nervous. Don't be nervous. No, I think nervous. be you. Have all a great right. time. Lovely. Thank you very much. It's Lovely brilliant to have you. Go to set. I will, thank you very much. Go to says turn right. Thanks, Brendan. The most expensive item Brandon has packed is his electric toothbrush, whilst the photo of his daughter is his most prized possession. The celebrity Brandon would hate to see in the house is former Prime Minister Tony Blair. He says his biggest worry about the house is a dirty toilet. Oh, sweet, how are you? Good. Oh, thank you. Give me some love. Right. It's been ages. How are you doing? Hey, pleasure. Nice to meet you. Pleasure, Hello, I'm Stacey. Hi, Stacey. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Brandon, how are you? Lovely to meet you. Oh, it's my pleasure. Really? Lovely to meet you. James. Thank you so much. Yeah. And you. Oh, so good. What would you like to drink? Do you want some like? Dish water, please. Yeah, no problem. Appetizer, maybe? Little bit. How's the journey? Good. I want to live over here. shirt, man. See, I'm representing. Yeah, you represent your wife, man. Let me get some water, babe. Thank you. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. How are you? Glad that's all over. It's all a bit up and down, isn't it? A little bit scared, a little bit nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Everyone that's in here so far is lovely. Just so you know. But yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. Who cooks? Because I can cook. I can cook some pancakes. Yeah, all good. That's good. Pancakes, I got. Banana pudding, I got. That's about it. How you doing? But that's all about. That's about it. Banana yeah. pudding and yeah. pancakes. It's chilly out there. Banana pudding. 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 That sounds lovely. How you been? We six weeks. This when I that, this was the apple juice, and then she poured a little bit of champagne. I took one little sip. Right. <laughs> well, the thing with sobriety is. Producers, what's the on-screen potential of Brandy? I don't know. I think there's I like something there. There's something there. Yeah. He's a dark horse. I, like I reckon he's, he's a bit of a lad. I think yeah. he's going to be really good. What does that good. mean, a bit of a lad? Uh, boys, a bit boy. of a boy. Oh, yeah, a bit yeah. of a, no, like yeah, alright, mate, yeah. I, like I don't he's think he's going to get tired. <laughs> if you need me to yeah. translate, let me know. I don't yeah. think he's got right. depth shit. And he's like, he's, he's been, he has like, he's rough around the edges, which is... He's, he character. knows how to party. He looks like he's got more juice than the other elderly guy. For sure. Oh, they're elderly. You I give them a seven. I gave me too. Has he just pulled out earplugs or those hearing aids? I just love his gold teeth. He's a DJ, maybe. You know, he's a, like an older Austin Myers. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 very accurate. Austin, Austin Powers. Austin Powers. Powers. <laughs> Austin, Austin Myers. Myers. Like, but Mike Myers was yeah, Austin Powers, so you're you're in this. You know yeah. what I yeah. mean. <laughs> stars seem to be getting along quite well but there is always room for more coming up a real team player a model housemate and the return of one red-blooded all-star we'll see you after the break <laughs> Control 
roll over to our All-Stars and turn them into the producers of Big Brother. Their task is to decide which of the new stars aren't cutting it and should be edited out of the show. Now, whoever joins them is going to need a lot of front. Fortunately, this one does. It's Celebrity Housemate number 11. Hi, I'm Nicola McLean, and I'm probably best known for big boobs and an even bigger opinion. I've had a really, really, really difficult time in my personal life recently. My husband behaved like a dick, but you know what? We've worked at it, we're still together, and we're happy. What, is everyone's husband perfect? After watching myself back, I did have some really bad lows in there, and a lot I still haven't lived down. I want to go home. I want to go home. I don't want to be here with these people anymore. What pisses me off about people is when they're wrong and they won't admit they're wrong. If you won't say sorry, I'm arguing until you do. I'm competitive by nature. There's no task that Big Brother can throw at me that I'm not trying to win. Like, what I want, I get. I'm an emotional wreck, so you're always going to get the cheers. And then I love a glass of fizz or two or three, so you're always going to get the drunken moments. I'm just good TV. It's Nicola McLean. I'm really nervous. Why are you nervous? Oh. I'm nervous because of these booing me. <laughs> well, listen, I've got to quote you on something. Uh, you've been quoted as saying that Celebrity Big Brother was the worst experience of your entire life. So I'm pretty surprised to see you. I'm here because you're here. Brian Dallin was so crap and horrible to me on my exit interview. But I know you'll be amazing. Nicola. She started already, hasn't she? A little mix. <laughs> Um, so, last time it was pretty stressful for you. Shred, 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 shred! And all yeah. that. Um, how do you think it's going to be this time? Shred, 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 the same. Do you, do, have you got a game plan? But Because you've been in there, you've been through it, yes, it was stressful, yes, it was traumatic, yes, it was the worst experience of your entire life, um, do you think you'll get some positivity out of it this time? Do you think you'll try and enjoy it more? Oh, I did enjoy it. I really enjoyed it. But it, there's highs and lows, and I'm an emotional person. So when I've got something to say, I'll stamp my feet and say it. You do not. I do. I, she does not. She's lying. Um, well, listen, you are here, and you're here as um, one of our all-stars. So tonight, um, our all-stars have tasks. Right from the beginning. Okay. Uh, so basically, our all-stars have become Big Brother's producers. Yay. So you are going to take over the show. We want you to decide which of our new stars has star quality and potential to be entertaining and who should be edited out of the show. You ready for it? Yes. Do you think you can do it? Yes. Okay, if you head up the stairs, take a left and go into the production office. Okay, thank you so thank much. Thank you. <laughs> Nicola finds people that drink water annoying as she believes it should just be for washing in. Nicola feels her driving test nine times. She often sleepwalks, and last time she did, she was caught crawling like a cat. Nicola, you go down the stairs. No. Oh, going straight to the diary room. <laughs> ah! Is this right? Oh my lordy, only me would get this wrong. Hello. 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 <laughs> Look at that gorgeous dress. I'm Hello, darling. How are you? Mm -hmm. Good, oh, you're here, darling. Hey, hey, all right. 
Oh my god, fabulous. Fabulous. Yes, Look at that. Yes, give it to me. Thank you so much. Is that exciting? Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you know what? I'm just so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to like to take it up now. We just get to sit and okay. chill and judge that them. That is oh. the worst, I think. Oh. We're judging them. I love that. I love that. Now. Oh, this I is good I wonder where we can have a cigarette. This is good okay. fun. <laughs> oh, let me no. take a sip. Take yeah. a breath, too. Yeah. yeah. Take a breath. Ooh, you cheeky boy. No. Because I'm naughty. Excellent. I am so excited to be in here yeah. with you. Oh, wow. <laughs> the best way to have ever. Wow. Absolutely. your heart. Loved watching you. Yeah. OK, so, so far, lots of excitement, little bit of nerves. It's quite peaceful in the house, though, at the moment. Here's someone who's going to have to be on the ball if things are kicking off. It's Celebrity Housemate number 12. Hi, I'm Jamie O'Hara, professional footballer, best known for my years at Tottenham and um, being married to Danielle Lloyd. Didn't go too well, that one. <laughs> I started playing football when I was seven, played for Arsenal Academy and then went to Tottenham. Got in the first team when I was 21, played in three cup finals, played 100 games in the Premier League, played for Fulham, Wolves. So I'd say I've done all right in life. I got offered 25 grand a week at 21 years of age. You know, you kind of get carried away. I went through a stage of a three or four years where I was stupid, spending crazy amounts of money, buying stupid cars, houses, and I bought my ex-wife a white Bentley with diamond badges for a wedding present. Yeah, that was an expensive day, that was. I think people have a massively wrong perception of me. I'd say I'm a bit of a joker. I like to have a laugh, you know, just it's an experience. I'd be scared about having a row with someone because I don't really take any shit. I don't like to get mugged off. Played in front of 100,000 people at Wembley. What could go wrong? It's Jamie O'Hara. Good, Come good. here. Um, how are you, though? We've just heard you saying that you're pretty nervous. Now that you're here and you're with a bunch of a few hundred friends, <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel? I feel all right, to be fair. This is, this is easy. Yeah? Like you said, you played at Wembley. Yeah, like, doing this is, like, this is like playing for my local team. Uh, in there, though, it's slightly different. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to be How does the prospect of the house make you feel? Uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be uh, different people, I'll people I've not... Too. Thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, we know you're a sportsman, so there's got to be that inbuilt competitive streak. Yeah, yeah. So how, how does that get you along in there? Is it, do you, you want to win? Do you want to win all the tasks? Do you want to win the entire show? You know what, I'll try and be a team player, do everything that I can and, um, yeah, just throw myself into everything. That's what I've always done. Uh, we've also just heard you say that you think people have the wrong perception of you. So what do you want people to see? Uh, hopefully just see, you know, me. Um, instead of, obviously, the things... <laughs> you know, obviously people see a different a little time fat club over there, you? It's working well so far. <laughs> you ready to go in? I'm ready, yeah. Off Let's you go, go up the stairs, take a ride. Jimmy once built a snowman in a teammate's car. Jimmy's guilty pleasure is One Direction. His biggest fear is to get to 60 and not have lived. No, man. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Fucking hell, I feel like I'm the last one here. Oh, it's no, not. It's no, still no, empty. I think it's plenty more <laughs> Right, Champagne, darling. Oh, yes, thank you. Hello, you okay? Right, yeah. You're right, Jamie. Mm. Bianca. Bianca. Yes, yes, right. nice to meet you. How are you doing, mate? Great, right, Jamie. Jamie, nice to meet you, mate. Stacy. Stacy, nice to meet you, Lenny. We're winding up, Hello, Jamie. James. James, nice to meet you, mate. Good You're all right, Jamie. Brandon. Brandon, nice to meet you, mate. Thank You're right. Yeah, right. good, mate. Good, good. sweet, nice sweet. Are you okay? Yeah, fuck it. Like waves, was... isn't it? Yeah. It's like. I'm sweet, nervous. It's the longest wait ever, wasn't it? I was fucking. You've done this before, yeah? No. No, no, this is new for me. Oh, Yeah, yeah. Hang on a minute. 
We're all new. New with a new beat. Oh, oh we all new. We're all new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, cool. Well, what does that, that mean? mean that they're going to Remember there's two Jameses, yeah? Yeah. Remember there's two. I just realised we're all new. We are a team. So maybe the people have done it before. Then they live with us later? Maybe. I don't know they can follow. All the experienced ones. Are But we haven't been listening to anything. Producers, what level of drama and entertainment do you think Jamie will bring? Um, no. Drama, I think he will crap. Do you? He will crap. He's See, I think he's a nice guy. This is going to no. be like, yeah. This is going to be like Football a breeze in the park. Footballers have got great banter, yeah. mate. Yeah. On the pitch. No, yeah, no, just they've got good banter. I think he'd be fine. Bye. I'm not. I don't think I'm he's going to be like massive cry. drama. I think this is a vacation for him. He said he had a really, really rough huh? like year. I think yeah. he'll survive. But he this is like because he's like he's like. Oh, he's like he's he's like he's like he's he knows that he arranged. He said that the wrong tree. I don't think so either. He's too well trained. Yes, for a tree. I think he'd be. Well, we live here. He won't be loud. No, I think he'll be. I think he'll be. Now I know that everyone is full after the New Year's festivities, but we. We have got a couple more to cram in. Coming up, our final all-star returns to the house and we'll throw in a new star just for good measure. Plus, we'll be talking live to the all-star producers. We'll see you in a bit. to the very cold live launch of Celebrity Big Brother 2017. <laughs> so we have turned January on its head. So it's in with the old and out with the new. Big Brother has set the all-stars the task of being producers. They are spying on the new stars from the production office and deciding which ones are most entertaining and which should be edited out of the show. Some would say brutal. I would say thoroughly entertaining. <laughs> Uh, right, we have two more to go, and we'd, uh, we'd better hurry up because we are running out of time, so we'd uh, best get a move on. Yeah! It's the return of Celebrity Housemate number 13. Hi, my name's Callum Best, and you may know me as TV personality, businessman, and son of George and Angie Best. My surname I'm proud of, of course. It comes with this legacy, and I'm doing the best I can to kind of keep that legacy going. Yeah, my mom and I are super close. I'm definitely a mama's boy. I think I'm a mama's boy covered with that tattoo. She nags on a constant basis, but I guess that's what all mothers do. Last time I was in the house, nothing was too bad. And then I reached a point where Perez just pushed the wrong button. Now shove it up your ass. Excuse me? And it just pissed me off, so I just had to speak up and just say, shut your fucking mouth. Shut you the are. fuck up, okay. you fucking power tripper. If someone's rude to me, then they'll fucking know about it. Can you say fuck? I hope so. <laughs> Shit. Some people think I've got a reputation of a ladies man. I mean, the reality is this. I'm single, you know, I'm a red-blooded male. I enjoy women's company. So you never know, going into this house, what can happen? When I hear there's some beautiful women, <laughs> fingers crossed. I mean, I'm really excited to go back in. I'm sitting here smiling, thinking about it. Bestie's back. Thank you very much. It's Callum Best. Every time I'm a ride, it's a hot. Touch drive in the car, gets hot. Straight gas, so the whole thing's hot. I'm really good. Isn't it lovely having oh, Callum thank back? You so <laughs> thank you very much. I think you can probably tell they're all pretty pleased to see you. Well, I'm happy to be back. I'm definitely happy to be back. Thank you very much. Um, now, listen, you've done the show before. Yes. You were an absolute gent the first time. Uh, I have no doubt you're going to be a gent the second time, but is there anything that you would do differently having the experience of lived in there before? Well, the first time around, I, I just I hadn't done TV for years and I was very cautious of how I came across and how I was portrayed. And I think I've grown a lot in the past few years and I'm a lot more comfortable in myself and how I feel. And I'm just going to go in there and open up a bit more, you know? So. Ooh, he's going to open up. Now, listen, you made the final three last time. Yes, I did. I was very happy to do it. And uh, it was a great experience. It was one of those things... <laughs> Thank you very much. It was, it, it was, a, it was a life changer for me, and I, once I was asked to come back, I was happy to do it. So here we go, round two. 
Where would you like to come this time? I mean, last time I said I don't mind about winning, this time I'd happily win. <laughs> uh, okay, well, listen, we are thrilled to have you back. Thank but you. Um, you, you are being given a task on launch night. So we have a bunch of all stars in the house. Yeah. And we have made you all this evening the producers of Celebrity Big Brother. So you're going to be going up the stairs yes. and to the left. Okay. And you're going to be going into Big Brother's production office where you'll meet the other all stars and you will get to decide who you think has potential and is entertaining and who you think needs to be edited out of the show from our new stars. Wow, that's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. I think it'll be a lot of fun as well. I look forward to it. Yeah? I'm here to have fun, so let's do this. Okay, Callum. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Up the stairs, take a left. Cool. Enjoy. Thanks, Emma. Callum described his first celebrity Big Brother experience as absolutely exhausting. Callum used to be a semi professional snowboarder. His worst habits are that he swears and spits a lot. Wow. We're back! Yeah. We're back in the game! Hello, my dear. How are you? You right? yeah. all good? Oh, there's not much. Yeah. 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 Yes, brother. Mate, this is flat and warm. I'll take it anyway. Yes, man, good to see you. Nice to see you. Yes, good to see you. Thank you so much. It's all right. We'll see you next time. Glad you're here. We're judging them, and we get to vote someone out of the thing. And we have to edit someone out, so whoever we think is the least entertaining basically will be edited out of the show, because we are producing the show, apparently. Wow, man. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six people so coming so far. Who's Ray J. Oh, yes, OK. Bianca, that, guest yeah. Guy. yeah. Uh, James Cosmo. Cool. Stacy someone. Stacy. I like Stacy. Really? So, what do you want? I, she's my least favourite oh, so no. far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. James Cosmo. Stacey, yes. Uh, James Cosmo. Who that one? Uh, this one. Look how serious they are. We've got our little notebooks and we've got a little pen. But we've got a little surprise for Callum. Oh. Mum's the word. It's Celebrity Housemate 14. Oh. Tits, earrings, hair. Hi, I'm Angie Best. You probably know me as being George Best's wife, personal trainer to the RNFs, rich and famous, or Callum Best's mum. When I first met George, it was absolutely love at first sight. I'm sitting there completely mesmerized by this gorgeous boy. This girl walks along and throws a drink at me. He'd forgotten to tell his girlfriend he'd invited somebody else down. <laughs> That was so George, God bless him. It was just meant to be, so we could have beautiful Callum. Of course, as a mother, he does no wrong. In the early days, oh my God, I aged a hundred years. <laughs> Thank you, Callum. I have felt like such a traitor to my son because I know he's going in, he doesn't know I'm going in. If there's anybody in there who doesn't eat healthy, smokes too much, is a sugar fanatic, I will nag. If I'm fed up with somebody, I'm going to nominate them. You're going, what's your name, off you go. I think it's going to be a bit cutthroat, a bit dog-eat-dog. -dog. Well, I'm the big dog, and I eat lots. It's Angie Best. So come on, mama, hey, yeah, she's the drama, hey. Big brother. 
Thank you, my precious. I think I've lost something. Have oh, you lost your yeah. mic, Pat? Okay. Hold my mic so, and I'll so, fix okay. it for you. Oh, hold okay. that. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 really cool Hello, hands. my hands. Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hello, my darling. Oh, my God. you on telly. Come here. Oh, um, Angie. Yes, my darling. Tell me, honestly, genuinely, does he not know that you're going in? Oh, not a whisper. God bless him. Yeah. Wait till he sees. Oh, how do you think? He's, how do you think he's going to react? Oh, he's going to have a heart attack. God bless him. <laughs> he will. His whole thing will be completely dismantled because mother's here. <laughs> This makes me really excited. As a mum, I'm like that. Yes, and keep track on him all the time. Uh, you ready to go in? Yes, I am. Up the stairs, take a ride. Thank you. Thank you. Angie was astonished when she found out oh there was no God. cleaner in the house. And she said if Cam can survive Perez oh Hilton, God. she can survive anything Big Brother throws at her. She wants modelled for Dear and bye, bye, bye. featured what? in a Pirelli calendar. When she was 19, she lived in the same block of flats as John Lennon. Bye, guys. What? Wish me luck. Bye. What is that? Is that my nut? Oh, my God, is that my nut? Where was it? Oh my god, it's my mother! No! Get the fuck out of here! Mate! Mate! Your mum's in the house! She looks amazing. How did you get that from me, So she knew you were in and you didn't know she was going in. What the fuck? This is amazing! Oh my god! Oh, yeah, bless her. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, bless her. <laughs> but shoot me now. Step up, step up. No, my mother. Joking. Like, my mother, dude. Count. They know exactly what they're doing. No, idea. no way! She hid that from you. Wow. We're sliding. She, <laughs> she knew you were doing it, obviously, right? Oh, my God, I love it, though. Secret. You get to have your fucking mom here? I, I'm not crazy. I mean, we're close, but it's like, yo, this it's is my time. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love my You get no vacation. Oh, that's that's a worst nightmare. nightmare. <laughs> I'll do a sec, Mom. Yeah. Worst nightmare. My mother is here. I shouldn't say it, but she's 64 and she looks that great. She's, she's fucking great. She's so hot. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if that puts any pressure on No, no, not really. I'll give her a two. What about everyone else? Well, literally. I get to meet Mom? Yeah, exactly, right? Not edited out. No, yeah, mom's, no. Mom, mom's not getting out of it. Edit, edit, Ten. <laughs> Look Plus. at his face. Look at his face. <laughs> oh, my God. His face was amazing. Oh, this is going to be good. So, do you think the new stars are wondering why they've got so much space to themselves? Of course they do. They're going to find out really soon. But first... Shall we talk to the producers? Yeah! I mean, we're super close. I mean, she's like the only family I have, so That's she knows. That's fucking amazing. Hello, housemates. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. Hello. Wait, which one? Which one? Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, There's no cuddling and kissing. Yeah. Yeah. Your viewing pleasure. Oh, it's it's Are you all enjoying being Big Brother's brand new producers? Yeah. Yay! I mean, <laughs> are you on? <laughs> Exactly. We have been watching you, and we know that you've been watching eagerly, but for those of you who have just joined the team, here's a quick recap of all our shiny new celebrities currently mingling next door. Now, remember, very soon, you're going to be editing one of them out of the show, so please pay attention. These are the new stars. That's funny shit. Know me for a lot of things. Music. Reality TV. Oh, and you might also know my me dick. for my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone that says oh, that like they it. come into these programs and go, no, I don't really care if I win, I think that's absolute bollocks. I, I know that, that I'm going to be the kind of housemate that's going to be okay. the last one up. I'm definitely a go hard, go home kind of girl. I feel like people need to get to know me. I'm loving, I'm funny. 
yeah, I got a little bitch in there, but I'm never a bitch just because. Like, I'm always just a justifiable bitch moment. I'm a bit of a joker. I'll be scared about having a row with someone because I haven't really taken his shit. I don't like to get mugged off. Playing in front of 100,000 people at Wembley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What could go wrong? Let's have it. I love it. I'd like to think of myself as a bit of a new rounder. Jack of all trades, master of none. I'm very excited about getting into the house. Let's have it. <laughs> if I'm like fed it. up with somebody, I'm going to nominate them. Oh, You're going, like what's your name? Off you go. <laughs> it's going to be a big dog eat dog. Well, I'm the big dog, and I eat lots. <laughs> well, I'm an actor. I've been in the business for over 50 years. All of it says I'm in here from experience. I hope I'm going to enjoy it. And that's it. Game, set, and match. Nothing else. Thank you very much. Bye. He hates doing that. Hmm. So there they are. Very soon, Big Brother will get back to you to hear your decision. Which star has failed to shine? I think I'm just going to we'll spin the circle and just... For me, it's quite easy. Stacey. Yeah. yeah. I just, I just yeah. did it easily. But why? Why? I like I Stacey know. more than the Game of Thrones guy. The James... <laughs> of Celebrity Big Brother. So our seven new stars are all sitting pretty in the house. Look at them, all having a little sit down on the sofa, all getting along, thinking it's all calm and lovely. Uh, little do they know that the all-stars from classic Celebrity Big Brother series have been recruited to have a little bit of fun with them. The All-Stars have become the producers and they've been watching the new stars every move. Their task is to decide who to edit out of the show and it's decision time. Yeah. She threw. Why does oh, she get to go to the bathroom and I yeah. don't? She never came back, I don't think. She went you know? in between the lines. <laughs> the no. They gave me yeah. yeah. warfare. Yeah. Jazz is on the Bad Girls Club. <laughs> he was, wow. I, it's, it's so. No, the, but you know when they say. Taking away her. Yeah, we don't know what it means. Yeah, we might get rid of her. No, no, that would be a little bit. I don't mean that. Just shine. The next shine. I'll tell you what. No, no, they actually noticed. This is Big Brother. New stars. You may have noticed that there are only a small number of you. This is because your all star counterparts have become the producers. No, yeah, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. No, yeah, I couldn't even. No, she, she's cool. She's a lovely lady. You, you'll, yeah. without a doubt, get along with her, but I'm just, it's a little bit. I was this like, is Big Brother. It's like invasive. All star yeah. producers. All evening, you have been watching your new star housemates enter the Big Brother house, judging them on their ability to offer the most dramatic and entertaining episodes of Celebrity Big Brother. You now have 20 seconds to decide amongst yourselves which new star you would like to edit out. So, I mean, if he's saying who's going to be the most entertaining, I think Stacey will be very entertaining. So I'm kind of doubting my But will she be more now. entertaining because she's going to be pissed off that she's edited so out? We're supposed to pick yeah. But what if that means she's gone? No, it no, won't mean she's gone. James, 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 James J. J. I think they James J, based on what you have seen tonight, state the name of the housemate that the producers would like to edit out, giving reasons for your choice. Oh, okay, so who are we deciding then? Because for me, it would be, it would be Stacey. You think you know? Edit me out! Why? Why? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, so we're going Stacey. Everyone happy with that, right? Yeah. What? No. Okay. No. So they just said the least entertaining. Stacey's not the least entertaining. <laughs> but she's going to kick off more when she's edited that's out. That's how they're going to... We don't want to listen to what they say, though. Why do we have to listen to what they say? The question is who's the least entertaining. I think Stacey is here. Who is this big brother? We need to now. We are going to go with Stacey. I think you're going with Stacey. Producers never agree. What does that mean? This is Big Brother. Stacey. You have been edited out. What does that mean? This means that you will not receive your possessions. You will wear a beige tracksuit at all times. And you will be excluded from all key moments within the house. 
starting now. Stacy, while the producers and remaining housemates enjoy the first night launch party, <laughs> you will be edited out. When the shutter okay. opens, you must take your seat in the garden, away from all the action. Only Stacy is permitted to leave the house. All of the housemates must remain seated. You own that. Honestly, you're not. You're just. We'll see you know what you're signing up for, right? It's, it's kind of... No. It's, it's Stacy, make your way to the garden immediately. How do I get there? Let's think about that pot of gold. Stacy, take a nice deep breath. Relax. It's cold out here. It's nothing personal. I don't know the girl. Do you know what I mean? We all picked it. Yeah, I don't know the girl. We're sleeping in together. That's a good time. I bet you're glad you signed up at that point. Oh, yeah? We walked into a party. Yeah, I bet, man. Oh, we never came into the house. I'm not staying in the cold. She's that is not happening. She's chosen Stacy to be edited out of the show for not being entertaining enough. She looked like she was going to be a right old sparky one. Uh, now, Stacy is sat um, in the garden being edited out. Um, she's got a very fetching beige tracksuit on um, and she's going to be watching the party through the glass. Poor Stacey. Honestly, these television producers are ruthless. I know, I work with them every day. Uh, right, that is almost your lot. Heidi and Spencer's number one fan, Rylan, is up with a bit on the side straight after that. I'm sure he's going to have some lovely words to say about his old housemates. Um, he's going to be joined by Katie Price, Joe Swash and Honey G! Word. Uh, and straight after that, at five past midnight, we go live to the house. Stay on top of all the action on Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. Plus, there are loads of treats over at the website, including a 360-degree tour of the new house. It's all very fancy nowadays. Um, tomorrow at nine, find out what happens when the all-star producers choose another new star to edit out of the show. And I will be back here live on Friday at nine o'clock when two new housemates arrive. It's gonna be pretty spectacular. Uh, now, now that we've shaken things up a little bit this evening, I wonder what would happen if we put the all-stars and the new stars together in the same house. Wonder no more, that's exactly what we're about to do. Thank you so much for watching and have a brilliant night. We, had, we experienced something real deep. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I can. I can sense. I saw that. Like, yeah, saw it. Yeah. yeah, it was something happened. So I just feel like she's already had a bit of a hard time. Yeah, something happened, but it was a tragic thing. For oh. Us. oh, really? Oh gosh, yeah, right. tragic. Oh, dear. Yeah. Sorry, man. As soon as she comes down, she. Is she okay? Do you think? Oh, yeah. really? I think she's, she's okay. I think yeah. she's a little upset. Yeah. 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 Aye, aye. Oh. Hello. Oh, my God. Hello. Hello, you guys. Hello. 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 Hello.
Oh, my goodness. How am I supposed to misbehave? <laughs> I don't know. You do anyway. Yes, baby. You're absolutely beautiful.